Corla. Uh, Minister, uh, businesses are now making crucial decisions as to whether they will reopen or not. Uh, this has been done every day of the week, and we still see insurance companies fighting tooth and nail to cripple the same small businesses. These are the businesses that have come through the recession, have battled through everything. I spoke to one businesswoman yesterday who was 40 years in business, and she doesn't know whether she will be able to continue on in business, employing a lot of, uh, of people, particularly in rural areas and in small towns. And the insurance companies continue to play with the words but they're also playing with people's livelihoods and the livelihoods of these communities and they're doing this on two fronts as you know firstly they're flatly refusing to honor claims uh, made by the business interruption clauses even when the po policy document is very explicit and states that the business is covered in instances where national government or local government instruct uh, temporary closure now one of the pillars of insurance uh, which after all is compulsory, is good faith. So when you take out a business interruption insurance, you do so in good faith and the insurance company will be covered, will cover you in the event of a loss. So there are many business owners who consider the immoral behaviour of the insurance industry as theft. Secondly, others are refusing to refund even part of the, the, the premiums uh, while the business is closed. Uh, so I suppose one of the questions around that is, have you sought uniformity across the, the insurance industry uh, in their approach to businesses that have been closed? I think you talked about it a, 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 bit, um, a bit earlier on, but that is not happening in the ground. Uh, and I'm speaking with business owners every day who tell me their insurance companies are, are, are showing complete inflexibility with them. The other question I have, Minister, is in Britain, the Financial uh, Conduct Authority is seeking a court judgment on behalf of businesses to clarify the issue. Uh, and as you are the minister in charge here, uh, are you considering uh, doing the same thing? And maybe you could just tell us if there are any instruments of sanction that are available to you to take control uh, of the situation in relation to the insurance in industry and to ensure that they act in an ethical manner. Now, Sinn Féin has written to the central bank to ask if they will take similar actions here. I assume that you've had similar uh, conversations uh, with central bank. Um, but I would also remind you, uh, Minister, that it's precisely for scenarios such as this that Sinn Féin tried in vain to progress the multi-party actions bill in 2017 that would have been a game changer, enabling groups of cases that share characteristics sufficiently to allow them to be dealt with uh, collectively. Currently, the only real option is for a test case to proceed uh, and related cases to follow subsequently on that basis. Uh, so justice denied is justice delayed for many of the small businesses who don't have the financial capacity to take on the might of the insurance industry. Um, so I, would you agree that blocking that legislation it was wrong and that that should be revisited? I just want to ask you in relation to the banks, thank you for that information, but could you clarify um, the, that you had a conversation with the banks in increasing the way they are increasing the outstanding uh, balance by thousands of euros uh, because under the current payment breaks that interest will still continue to accrue uh, thereafter. So uh, have you advised the banks Could, that this is unacceptable? Thank you, Deputy Conway. In relation to Deputy Conway Walsh and the points that the Deputy made, the central bank have now engaged directly with the insurance industry on many of the matters that you're referring to. Uh, they've written to the CEOs of all of the major insurers and stressed to them that uh, customer-based solutions have to be put forward to the resolution of these issues. And if the insurance policy isn't clear, and if there's a doubt regarding the meaning of particular terms, and the interpretation that's most favourable to the customer is the one that should prevail. I have said this myself uh, to the insurance sector, I've said it publicly, and Probably. the central Thank bank you, is Minister. engaging on this matter. Uh, no.